recommended dosage for Delta sleep-inducing peptide is 200 to 300 micrograms daily injected subcutaneously. To align with the body's natural sleep cycle, this should be done at least one hour before bed on an empty stomach. As with any peptide, I always recommend to start low and go slow. The reason for doing this is to assess your tolerance to the peptide. While DSIP has an excellent safety profile, it's always prudent to start low and go slow. In this case, you would start with about half the recommended dosage, which would equate to 100 micrograms. Use this amount for your first dose, and if you feel good after that, increase by 50 micrograms each night until you reach the desired level of 200 to 300 micrograms, or until you achieve the desired effect. To prevent desensitization of GABA and serotonin receptors, I personally recommend following a schedule of four to five days on and one to two days off. For example, you might use DSIP from Monday through Thursday and take Friday off, then pick it back up again on Saturday. If you prefer to have a set schedule for each week, rather than having to keep track of the days, you can simply use the peptide from Monday through Friday and then take Saturday and Sunday off, repeating the schedule each week. This can vary depending on the individual use case. Some people use DSIP only as needed when they're struggling with sleep, rather than those who are using it on a nightly basis for a full cycle length. Generally speaking, you should use DSIP for a duration of about six to eight weeks and then take six to eight weeks off. Again, this can vary depending on the severity of your sleep issues. If you happen to see significant improvement after only a few weeks, you can certainly shorten the cycle down to about two to four weeks. Users should be cautious when stacking other sleep supplements or medications with Delta sleep inducing peptide. If you're unsure, consult with your doctor or healthcare provider. Research to date indicates that DSIP exhibits minimal to no side effects when administered at the dosage I just mentioned. There's always the possibility of certain reactions at higher doses, such as headaches, dizziness, nausea, or morning grogginess. Typically, these are very minor and dissipate rather quickly.